What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today and just talk about how this movie and a potential fifth movie and a potential sixth movie should wrap up the Creeper trilogy or the Creepers narrative this time around. So from the original trilogy, we had the Creeper ending hanging up in that in Taggart's barn. With this new trilogy, I would love for this to end prior to those 23 days. The only reason I say that is because I think the best way you could end a new trilogy at this stage, if you want to propel the character even further, would be to not end it like how Jeepers Creepers 2 ended. You need to end it in a manner that asserts the, the character's dominance, asserts the character's ability to just not be not be uh deterred or not be detained in any shape or form even though we know that would only be coming from the the cycle ending we we've, we've, we've seen that we've seen that happen we've seen that be the only thing of what can actually stop this thing so with this one i don't think we should have a repeat of that i think more so you need to have well actually i so here's what you could do instead of on the creeper's 23rd day instead of us seeing him go down with someone fine with someone in the final moments actually beating him to a pulp like like the way taggart did let's see the creeper and this is just how I, how i see a sixth movie ending if they get that far they could have the creeper escape with whatever victim it is the creeper could go to its lair the creeper could admire its work and the creeper could just in that moment turn to the camera or something or we don't even have to see the creeper turn to the turn to the camera. But in that moment, while it's while it's admiring the work it's done after killing the victim and doing something very dairy esque to the person, it just turns and goes into that cocoon that it goes into. And then that's how it ends. We don't have to see it hanging there in a position where one character is asserting dominance over the creeper the way taggart was because again at the end of jeepers creepers 2 while the the ending of jeepers creepers 2 is fine and it's good and it's a very strong any that gets you uh excited for something that we still have not gotten and hopefully probably will get some rem some resemblance of that in jeepers creepers 4 the ending of the first one is still so much stronger because it's so for me anyway it was so rare at the time for me to watch a movie where the villain was successful and is the one on top in the end not to say that going into hibernation makes you come out on top in the end but the way in which you can portray it on screen for a final jeepers creepers film in this new trilogy they have planned out or that they want to see brought to light in jeepers creepers 6 i think it would just be nice to see the creeper go into hibernation in on its own terms away from being beaten to a bloody pulp <laughs> away from being targeted by a vengeful father away from not being able to escape said vengeful father uh away from a narrative in which you've now lost your leg you've lost your arm you, your wings are gone you are a shell of yourself and you've been stabbed numerous times but you are showing us that you're alive and the cocoon comes over your head i think it would be a better uh, i think a better way to make the creeper stand out and be stronger coming out of this trilogy and portray it as a more dominant figure this time around because we've already seen the reverse will be to let this play out in a way that shows the creeper taking control over its own hibernation cycle and having the final say and just ending it in a way that kind of is a callback to the original and its haunting ending but in this case the creeper would just be going into hibernation but not in a manner in which someone has beaten it to death it would be in a manner in which it has gone through all of the victims and all the things that tried to stop it in the sixth movie taken the last victim gone to its new layer this could be some elaborate location it does its little artsy thing it wants to do with that person and we could see like a, a camera panning and showing us this new elaborate house of pain that it has while a brief smile comes over the creeper's face or something like that and then the cocoon starts to come over it as it goes into hibernation and the little jeepers creeper song can play in the background i think that would be a much more appropriate way to have the creepers narrative in for another 23 days that asserts dominance from this character instead of the reverse where we had a had a vengeful father hanging it up using it for money <laughs> and then waiting to make it its bitch once again i'll just be blunt that's literally what taggart was intending to do 
he was looking to own the creeper once again we have not seen that come to fruition yet on screen but hopefully we get some resemblance of that in the fourth movie so with the ending of a sixth film if we get that far i would rather see the creeper go out on its own terms and see how it's done stuff in the past it's like give us an indication of what you used to do or something you've done in the past when you knew your hibernation cycle was coming to a close so because i don't imagine all of its feeding cycles in with someone gathering it up <laughs> and putting it up on display to be a showcase for the next 23 years while people come and you tell you tell stories about it and it becomes a local urban legend i don't imagine that's how the creeper always goes out so i think ending the sixth movie in a way that shows the creeper going out on its own terms would give us an indication of how the creeper usually goes out when these cycles are over and what it tends to typically do because then we could speculate on that well is this how he went out the last time prior to coming in contact with the taggarts because the last time he was around before the taggarts and Derry and trisha was with kenny and darla what did he do prior to hibernation to prepare for that how does he prepare for his hibernation i would love to see that factored into the end of this trilogy because he certainly does not prepare for hibernation by getting his arm his leg cut off losing his wings and then going up on display for people to come see you for five dollars and get told campfire stories i just i just know that's not how he typically goes out that can't be how he typically goes out so it'd be nice to see something at the end of six that puts you into a perspective of well is this what he tends to do when he goes into hibernation uh he just comes back to the place where he was setting up as his workshop if he's kept it a secret good enough and he just rests in that location undetected uh unheard of of course and nobody stumbles onto these places because of the way he has these all set up like that old church no one was going down into the basement of that old church who's who's to say he wasn't hibernating in the basement of that old church for 23 years who knows how old that church even was it's so abandoned and so dirty inside when we see it there's no way anyone was going inside of it maybe if they're as stupid as dairy of course but <laughs> i would love to see jeepers creeper 6 end with the creeper going out of his 23 day cycle on its own terms let me know what you guys think about my idea of how the trilogy should end down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video